casual scale Molly here. Um, there's going to be some background noise because I got the air conditioning running, but I'm actually starting in on the Freightliner truck. Um, first of the two projects, of course, the second one will be the trailer. Uh, so this is what we've got done so far. I built the whole engine. You can see it's actually pretty darn big. Um, quite surprising how big it came out. But just some quick comments on the kit. This thing is is a nightmare, let me tell you. Um, first and foremost is the parts are not numbered on the sprue. Uh, this part, and the parts have a tremendous amount of flash. So it's just not very fun to build. See. These aren't too bad. I think I cleaned these up already a little bit. But especially like the cooling fan just had so much flash on it. It was basically a circle, not a fan. And the instructions are just as bad because it basically gives numbers to parts in each step. And those are the steps within the step, not the part number because the parts don't have numbers. And I still can't find one of the parts that's supposed to be on here. I still haven't found it at all. So I don't know where, where that's supposed to be, but I keep looking for it. But... Uh, yeah, so that is where we're at. I've got this thing started, and this is just an absolutely massive project. This thing, just getting this thing assembled. Oh, and then there's a lot of things on here that just don't have places to go. They just kind of point to some big area of the part it's supposed to glue on, like this one especially. Oh, and this was labeled as chrome, and it's not chrome. But some of these were just here, glue this about over there somewhere. So the instructions are horrible, the, the molding is horrible. I guess it's a really old kit, so I guess we'll give it some leeway on the flash, but um, I'm gonna slowly start working on this. It is going to take quite a bit of time, and I do have other projects I'm mixing in at the same time, so, but I am starting on it. I got the, I said, this is the entire engine. It's pretty much can be primed and painted because it's gonna be different colors than the rest of it anyway, so. And it's got some chrome parts on the top. I do have some sprues open here. I didn't actually open the sprues last time. Yeah, this one is too bad. This isn't as bad as the engine sprue was. Still not great. I've got some more parts, suspension parts and stuff. But again, I said there's absolutely no part numbers on the sprue. And you just kind of have to guess at the part you're Oh, there it is. I think that's the one I've been looking for. I think. I'll have to double check. Anyway, but yeah, that's kind of nightmare this thing is. So it's gonna, the assembly process is going to be quite extensive. Because just how long it's going to take to find the parts and then clean them up. So that's a really quick update. I'm very excited to get started on this project. It looks cool. It's it's absolutely ginormous. I mean, just this is just the engine alone. It's half the size of a normal model car. So very much looking forward to this. And I'll talk to you later.